Okay, so this video goes into the testing of a couple of new features that are coming out in Joomla 3.3, which is coming out very soon. Now, this goes through a blog post that Michael Babker did in regards to helping out in regards to doing this testing. And he has detailed exactly how you can do this testing. It's very, very easy using his patch tester, uh, which is available from GitHub. And I'll take you through this entire process from start to end all through this video. And this, this is a really good way to test each and every little patch that goes out in the Joomla project as well. So if you want to contribute a little bit more, you can actually test quite easily by pulling down one of these patches. And I'll show you this whole entire process just in a moment as well. Okay, so let's first go and download the patch tester, the one here from GitHub that Michael has created. And that is, this is it right here. So I've already download, downloaded this to my desktop already. So all I need to do now is go into the back end of my website. And this is just a local copy of Joomla that's installed on this, uh, on this computer here. So I'll just go to extensions, extension manager, hit the upload package file, choose the file, it's on my desktop here, patch tester. Now I've already got this particular patch testing component installed on my computer here on this uh, instance of Joomla. So I can just go to components, Joom patch tester, and this is what I see here. Now these are all of the patches that are available that I could potentially download onto this version of Joomla, onto my Joomla site and uh, do some testing against and actually see if the patch works or not. But the particular patch that I'm looking for is in regards to the microdata for uh, Joomla itself. Now Michael has detailed the, the information here in regards to the patch numbers that you need to uh, go into and have a look in his blog post. So where is it here? So in his blog post here, he mentions that there is a test front end module editing patch. But the one that I'm interested in is the microdata. This microdata one here is pretty interesting. It should really help out with a lot of search engine optimization for uh, Joomla sites in general. So this is one that I want to test. So I'll just copy that patch number, 3252. Go to the back end of my site again, and I'll put that ID number in the pool ID box. Just press enter to start searching. And there it is there. So what's going to happen now is that uh, this is going to be pulled down from GitHub where the patch is stored and installed onto my Joomla site. So I'll just apply this patch. Now, if you're not very good with code or not very comfortable with coding in Joomla in general, this is probably the easiest way to get into bug squashing and, and contributing back to the community in a code and usability way. So we'll just wait for that patch to fully download and install itself. And there we go, it's done. I've got a nice uh, green highlighted bar there and the status has applied. So I should be able to now have a look at more details in regards to this patch so I can see what I'm actually testing against and find out exactly how this meta, this microdata works for Joomla. So I'll just load that page up here and this goes into the details in regards to what has been applied and added into this particular patch. Now I can see from up here that it's been applied to com content articles. Uh, so I can have a little play with that. And I also know that it has been applied to com contact as well. So contact information in Joomla will also have the microdata wrapped around it. So let's play around with the contact details and then have a look at how this microdata has affected the articles as well. So let's go right into that. So first off, I'll go to components and contacts. Now, I believe I already have a contact in here. Yes, I've already entered my name in. I'll just have a look at what data I have. So I filled this in quite, with quite a bit of data. I've got editor there, my Joomla beat, email address, address, details, phone number, contact details. They're all pretty much there. So let's go through the next bits. Let's see what else they have here. Publishing information, I'll just leave alone display here. This is where I assume the microdata might be configured. If I need to configure it, yep, I can see it here. So microdata type person, I'll leave it as that because that sounds pretty much right. Okay, now I'll just save and close that. And I'll make sure I have a menu item linking to my contact details. 
So I've got a menu item here called contact. And, and I can see here that it is being selected and pointing directly to my uh, profile here. So I'll just go save and browse the front end of the website here and have a look at how that may appear. So I'll go to the contact. Now from a visual point of view, nothing should have changed. The microdata is purely in the code view. So I'm going to right click and view source. And in here, I should see a little bit of code about a particular schema. So I browsing through this, I won't be able to find it quickly, but I can see here that my name there, that's the contact details, and I can't see a schema wrapped around this. I should be able to, this is the microdata schema here that I should be seeing uh, pulled into Joomla and onto that particular layout. So here is what you could see uh, if the microdata wasn't enabled. So we've got Jane Doe there. And here we can see it with the schema applied. We've got item scope, item types, and the words, uh, the URL to the type of schema that this is wrapping around. And the words, uh, the name, sorry, Jane Doe is wrapped around with uh, item property name. So it specifically tells Joomla that this is a name of a particular person. But I don't see that in my Joomla site at the moment. So I'll go back to the admin area here and I'll go back to my contact details, go to contacts, go to PWE again, and I'll go to publishing and I'll scroll down, no, was it display, sorry? Scroll down to the bottom where the microdata is. Now it says enabled and using global, vari global variables. So it may not be enabled in the global variables. So I'm just gonna hit yes here to force it to turn on. I'll just hit save. And I'll refresh my source view here. I'll just hit the refresh button. And I'll scroll down to where I saw my name, Peter Bui. And here we go. Now I can see the schema has come into play. So now the schema is wrapping in. After I enabled the particular, where was it? The particular display to actually force the microdata to be turned on. So now I can actually see it here in the source in the source of that particular page, I can see the item property name just as specified as it should be here in the uh, documentation from schema.org for a particular person. So let's have a look down and see what other item properties have been enabled and just have a little check if this is uh, appearing to be looking right. I can see here item property job title. That looks good to me. Item scope. So here's another postal address. Yep, that's done right. And then each element here, uh, item property, street address. Yep, it's looking good. It's looking good. I'll probably have to test this against uh, Google's microdata or microdata schema uh, tester testing tool to actually see if this is done correctly. But it can't test a local environment. I'll have to apply this to a live working site so Google can test against that. So that looks, looks pretty good at the moment. And uh, I like what's been done. Now let's have a look at how it looks for an article page. So I'll just close that down and I'll scroll up here in schema and I'll type in article. So I can see the type of uh, microdata layouts that I should be expecting for an article. So this goes through all the types of properties. That's all well and good. If you want to read that in more detail, you can. But this is what I want to see here, the actual example output and what I should be expected to see in regards to what Joomla should be outputting. Okay, so let's go back to the back end here. I'll hit close. And let's go to the article manager and let's pull up one of the articles. Let's have a look here. Welcome to your blog. Let's play with this one. So a little bit of text there. That's the sample text that comes with Joomla when you're installing a blog type sample data. Now I'm guessing this is going to be in the options for this microdata thing again. Yep, there it is. Now, considering that the the contact one didn't appear when I had it on use global, I'm gonna turn this on as well. And I'm just gonna have a quick look at the front end, and see the output for that particular article. Uh, was it this one? Welcome to your blog. Right click, view source. Scroll down here and I should be able to see it again quite easily. There it is there. 
the schema for the article, I can see the item scope, item type. And if I go down a little bit further, I can see the item properties. I'll just copy that and do a find for all the other, other elements. I can see the URL come in. I can see the, the name come in there. The author comes in, which is fantastic. And it pulls in the next schema here for person as well, which is absolutely fantastic. So it looks like it's uh, working quite well. Like I said before, for the other schema, I would have to test this against the actual uh, Google checker for uh, output schema data. I'll just pull that up. So there it is there, the Google structured data testing tool. Now, like I said, this won't be able to test my uh, output live, but let's just test it with the HTML. That might be a good idea. So I'll copy all this. Copy, copy, copy. Go back to the structured data testing tool. Paste it all in there. Give that to Google for it to crunch. Cool, great. Okay, so I can see the preview comes in nicely. Let's process my data. Great. And this is the actual extracted structured data that comes out of it. So it knows that it's an article. It's got its, uh, its language, its URL, name, author, article body, and also the property types uh, a little bit further down here as well. The type of uh, person or the author who wrote this. And because it's not... Uh, allocated correctly it's just coming up with Joomla at the moment but I could allocate that to my personal profile that I set up before under com contact which was Peter Bury so that that's really cool it's a really great step forward for the Joomla project in regards to making sure that all of this microdata is set within uh, the core of Joomla itself and I'm really excited with some of the great new changes in Joomla 3.3. So if you haven't checked it out yet, if you haven't looked at the list, make sure you check out the blog post, especially one here by Michael Babker where he talks about testing it and uh, really giving it a go. There's other, a whole bunch of other articles in regards to the features that are coming out in 3.3. So that's it for me for this video. Uh, until next time, everyone. See ya.